was called In Depth. <coughs> and it was meant to be about my childhood and, childhood and growing up, but it kind of turned into a poem about poetry. So. I started writing lyrics at around the age of 10. And ever since then, I have fallen in love with poetry since pen has become my best friend. So every memory I've ever lived and every dream I've ever dreamt are embedded into each and every word so you feel every feeling I have ever felt. Because through all my childhood, this was my coping mechanism. Through all the pain, the hurt, the scratches, this is one of the only things that kept me true. I fell in love with the compassion and passion built when you connect a paper to a pen. So you see, I am falling in love all over again. Somehow my past and my words, everything I say, somehow it's fine. You see, this, this isn't a job and this isn't just a hop. No, this is my purpose and I've spent years waiting in the lobby, trying to find it. These aren't just lyrics and these aren't just words. Now they're my blood, sweat, pain, and tears that I've experienced throughout all the years, spattered out on a pad, available for everyone to see. Every turn my life has taken, from childhood up until now, everything that laid me, me. See, this is the truth without, without Photoshop, the reality without the show, the love with all the broken arrows in me. Hope in the sunflower that struggles to cry. See, these words come from the times we spent chasing the ice cream truck, begging mom for money for sherbets. They come from the pride I experienced every time I won a race in St. Luke's playground. See, these words come from the edge we felt sneaking into a van in lots and from the fear we felt when we thought we would be calm. You see, these words are much more than rhymes, for each line represents a period in time where. I was either at my worst or I was at my best. These words pushed me beyond my limits and put my faith to the test. See, these words are a reflection of my growth and maturity from all the things that made me grow up before my time. These words come from leaving my friends behind in London and moving to the state of New Jersey. They come from a broken family, but somehow I turned out all right. These words come from the blow experience in sixth form when they told me I wouldn't make it into a good university. And they come from the joy that went from my eyes exactly a month ago when you cast only a different story. These words depict every heartache I felt when he told me he cared but never cared to show it. And they depict every time I triumphed the defeat I felt when I felt that I could show. See, these words have followed me on my journey thus far and seen me at my weakest points. You see, all my deepest, darkest secrets are entwined in these words. For everything that ever hurt and everything that made me smile, I spurred out into this path. Until I gained the courage to share my feelings with a crowd pushed out of my comfort zone that seemed so comfortable as a kid. You see, the comfort zone limits of my dream. Because these words were my dream, and these words also taught me to dream. For as a couple of years ago, the only audience I had were the four walls of my room. But I prayed, Lord, grant me the opportunity to perform in front of a crowd, and let me tell you a little secret, I'm living out part of my dream right now. But you see, these words also taught me the downside of it all. For you see, dreams are feeble when left to dwindle. They lose their flair when they're left to burn, and they're pretty lifeless if all that remain on many dreams. You see, dreams only work if the person dreaming is fit for that dream. When dreams, they only work if the person dreaming and start dreaming and start working. And you see, dreams they only work when you learn to stop looking back at what could have been, forget half the beans, and start working on the human being staring back at you in the mirror. So I did need a dream. For nothing in my life ever went as planned. So I've let spontaneity carry on its wings, and now I go wherever the wind blows. 
I dare you to take every experience of your life and make a movie out of it. Not leaving out all the good, the bad, the smiles and the tears. I dare you to dream and wake up to take a step in the face of all your fears. For these words, they hold me together. They paint a picture of everything I was, everything I could have been, and everything I am. Every lyric, song, rhyme that I have ever written serves as methods of speech from my soul up to the heavens. I pray, Lord, never takes these words away from me. For I am sort of dependent on these words to explain my feelings for me. See, I am further in debt to this thing called poetry. Thank you.